Hello everyone. I am here to present a proposal for a perioperative nurse residency program that will make our perioperative nurses the best in the state of New Jersey. Welcome to all stakeholders, administrators, nurse educators, and future preceptors. My name is Patty Hoffer, and I am an operating room nurse here at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. This presentation will highlight the reasons and need for this perioperative nurse residency program. So let's begin. In New Jersey, the healthcare industry experienced a huge job loss due to COVID-19. However, it is said that the outlook for healthcare employment is looking up. From 2018 through 2028, it is projected that 64,860 jobs will be added, which is an annual increase of 1.2%. New Jersey's healthcare workforce is more racially diverse than average and does not currently face the magnitude of unemployment as in other industries. Our healthcare sector can be divided into three major areas, ambulatory healthcare services, hospitals, and nursing and residential care services. These three healthcare components have grown by 2.9% annually since 1990. There are opportunities for employment for all levels of education and experience. RWJ Health has been a long-standing relationship with Rutgers University and its two medical schools where they are able to access the latest in medical research and treatment technologies. Today, many nursing programs do not incorporate specialty nursing areas into their curriculum. Therefore, it is important that nurses get exposure to the perioperative environment before they seek employment. This internship is designed to be an introduction uh, to the perioperative program. After graduation, students will continue into the perioperative program where they will increase their knowledge, skills, and abilities that will be further evaluated. So what will be the value of program planning bring? First of all, it is a process of bringing about a plan change. It's a deliberate and collaborative process involving a change agent and client systems, which are brought together to solve a problem. Planning helps with discovering and preparing the way for action that should be taken. When there is a need for change, proper planning is important for achieving success in any work. That is why we're here today. So far, any questions? Okay, so let's continue. Today, the nursing shortage is apparent in New Jersey as well as across the nation. One reason was due to COVID-19, which only exacerbated the existing workforce shortage. As I have stated, COVID-19 in an increased nursing shortage has not made it easy to recruit nurses with the necessary qualifications into the perioperative setting. It can cost up to $120,000 to train a new perioperative nurse. It is also believed that the financial burden for facilities is only expected to increase if the current shortage of nurses continues to grow. Therefore, it is necessary to introduce students to the perioperative nursing while staying ahead of the nursing shortage. This perioperative internship program also needs to be implemented because nurses are leaving the OR environment during and after their training. Perioperative nurses were interviewed about their experience. Some of the responses when asked why you were leaving included, it wasn't what I thought it would be, it's not the type of nursing I want to do, or it's just not for me. The operating room is unlike any other nursing unit. Qualified nurses play an important role in the operating room before, during, and after surgery. During and after the perioperative program, nurses are realizing the intensity of their role and responsibilities. A good return on investment for a hospital is when nurses decide to remain in the operating room after they've been trained. Having an internship to the perioperative environment allows nurses to get a first-hand experience on what their role and responsibilities will be like after graduation. This experience will allow them to decide if this is the path that they want to pursue after graduation. With the support of our nurses, doctors, nurse educators, administrators, our community partners and stakeholders, we know we have a residency program that can help embrace and teach new nurses into the perioperative environment while continuing to support safe surgery for every patient every time. As I have previously described, the learning modules of this course will be fully virtual and will reflect the current advances in technology and processes. The Educational Learning Lab will be utilized for learning module. 
Simulations will be performed in our simulation lab. Their clinical learning experience will continue to the main operating room. The time frame is approximately four months. This includes simulations, hands-on opportunities with instrumentation and lectures. A final week will include a comprehensive test to determine students' knowledge and ability in order to move into the clinical rotation. Here is an outline of the learning objectives in red that students must meet to be successful in their residency program. Attached will be a perioperative internship curriculum that will be given to each of you for your review. You will see that it meets all criteria for patient safety and care while working in the operating room. Listed in red are the six main areas that will be covered. So how do we know if the design and delivery of our program will be effective? It is said that developing systematic and strategic program evaluation approaches can help us to determine the value and worth of a program. Also using formal and informal opportunities to, for collective and summative evaluation data. Finally, we have to think about how data will be collected and analyzed to, re, to measure our return on investment. We will incorporate a transfer of learning strategies and evaluation plan that will be designed to show the roles and responsibilities of all those involved and their evaluation strategies to be used to determine the transfer, uh, that transfer of learning has occurred. Each strategy is listed according to when it's used and who will use it. Nurse educators and preceptors will, will be using both forms of assessment to track students' progress throughout the program. These assessments can help tell us what has been improved or what needs to be improved or any change in a program while it's in progress. Formative is a way of assessing a student's learning in real time and evaluating their learning as it progresses. A summative assessment is used to evaluate student learning at the end of an instructional unit by comparing it against some standard or benchmark. benchmark. Summative evaluations also serve to make changes or modifications for, for future programs. RWJ uh, Barnabas prides itself on being one of the most diversified hospitals in New Jersey. The nurse residency program is targeted towards senior nursing students at Rutgers University in their last semester of school. Through interviews, the nurse residency program will comprise of diversified student, diversified students, including first generation, traditional, and non-traditional senior nursing students. With the help of our nurse educators and preceptors, it is our goal to meet the challenges that new graduate students may be encountering during their residency program. It is important to integrate new students into the culture of an organization and have them become familiar with specific policies, procedures, and routines. With the help of our nurse educators and preceptors, it is also our goal to meet the challenges that uh, new graduate students will be uh, experiencing at any other time during the residency program. As new graduates, it is important that they feel supported by their residency program, leadership and preceptors and other students within the program. New graduates face many unforeseen challenges and no matter what the fears, concerns or challenges new nurses face, it will be up to the leadership team to ensure that students get the best experience during their North, North their nurse residency program while minimizing any encounters they may face. It is my hope that Robert Wood Johnson will seek accreditation again from the American Nurses Credentialing Center as well as from the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education. This process will ensure that our program will meet all regulatory requirements and standards. To reiterate again, the operating room is a highly specialized area that requires an intensive training, training for nurses who share a passion for advancing perioperative nursing, as well as ensuring patient safety with optimal outcomes. Unfortunately, nursing schools today do not incorporate specialty nursing areas into their curriculum. It has been difficult for Robert Wood Johnson to retain nurses due to misconceptions of the day-to-day -day operations in the perioperative environment. This proposal is being presented to provide graduating senior nurses an opportunity to get an internship into the operating room 
with the hope to increase student awareness of the perioperative nurse as well as recruiting nurses after graduation. We know that a successful student will have increased knowledge, skills, and abilities to the perioperative environment. We also feel that students will have a successful experience where they will make the commitment after graduation to come on board as a perioperative nurse. Our successful program will create happy, competent, motivated nurses with increased confidence into their new professional roles. These are our future perioperative nurses here at Robert Wood Johnson. Welcome aboard. Any final questions? I'd like to thank everyone for watching my proposal presentation. More importantly, because healthcare is always changing, it is my hope that Robert Wood Johnson will consider this proposal to not only prepare graduating nurses for the perioperative environment, but to better serve our community and patients with the best care possible. Thank you for your consideration.